Hello guys, here is Mark the Geek, here with a very different video. In this video I want to show you guys a very cool app that for your PC or your Mac that lets you actually um, use um, Android apps on your computer. Um, this app is called Bluestack. Let's go to the website. Here like you see right there, all you gotta do is enter bluestacks.com and like you can see here it has a downloadable for Windows and for Mac um, and just today it became beta so now with um, with the new update you can use over 750,000 mobile apps on your Windows and Mac supposedly you now will be able to use any app that you can find in the App Store so once you download and install it this is how it's gonna look let's go ahead and open it up uh, once you open it up, it looks like an it looks like an app store. Like you see right there, it looks like an app store. You can see here, you can see my apps. Uh, here you can see kids apps. You can browse around through kids apps. Uh, here you got different tools you could go ahead and actually try. Um, here you got top 25 apps. Like you can see there. Here you got games, um, social. Uh, music well here they actually have everything covered this is like the featured section but if you there's an app that you don't find for example let's go ahead and you can click here over here and search and anytime you can go ahead here and, and search for anything like uh, let's say play music uh, this is the Google play music app let's see if I can find it like you see right there once you go ahead and find it click install um, when you click install an app it actually searches from four different app stores which is awesome um, so at any time you can go ahead and download the app from any of these app stores like for example I'm going to use one mobile click on that and it will download and install let's see how long it takes Okay, so it finished downloading. Now it is installing. Now we can go ahead and close here. Like you can see, you can keep on searching for anything you want. Like for example, let's go ahead here and say I want to search for Angry Birds, Star Wars. And like you see there, you can find Angry, Angry Birds, Star Wars, for from any of these sources as well. The long, like you see here, this time this app is not available in the One Mobile, but it's available here and it's available here in the Amazon App Store, and it's also available in the Google App Store. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that this is actually not working. When I click here, it says Market Not Found search web for installation um, here when you choose search web for installation it just takes you to one blank page here no preview no nothing it doesn't actually let you do anything here I could go ahead and click download but it won't download anything so there's some bug going on there just keep in mind this is running in beta uh, but I could go ahead here and click another source and it will download from that source, which is awesome So go ahead. Let's go ahead and close here and for example, let's go back to my apps and I should be able to see the play music app that I downloaded like you see right there I downloaded the play music app and now you can have access to all your music on your computer using the Google Play music app which is awesome that's a very very cool feature um, another thing is for example Flipboard Flipboard I, I truly love Flipboard and having it here accessible in the computer which is very very nice and it looks very cool because they actually have the whole um, tablet version available here which totally looks a lot better than the um, phone version and it translates very good here when you're using it in the computer 
And you can use your, I'm using right now my gesture, my sliding to left and right to slide through pages, which is very, very nice, like you see there, very smooth. I could go ahead and click in one news and go through the news right here, which is very awesome. Very, very nice and very convenient. Um, at any times here, this right here, for example, if I'm at the Google Play Store, Google Music, I this is this would be the setting button, like you see there, I can access the setting. Let's go back out again. Another cool feature this has, this update has, is that now you could go ahead and sync your Android phone with your PC or Mac. And once you click there, from here you can go ahead, do you have an Android phone? You click yes, then you click next. Here you will enter your information and your phone number. And once you do that, it will send you a text message with your uh, nine digit code. And those nine digit code, you're gonna use it to um, um, register and sync all the, um, some of the apps that you have on your phone uh, with from app from downloaded from the app like store. you can see here this is the blue stacks cloud connect app uh, once you open it up and you enter the code that the blue stacks um, app in the computer is going to give you it's like a nine digit code uh, once it opens up it's going to start um, syncing it's going to start recognizing all your apps that you have on your phone installed right now so at this moment um, if I want to, for example, sync, I could choose right here. I could go ahead and check mark that, and it will automatically sync everything to my BlueStacks on my computer. Or I could go ahead and just select the ones that I really want. Uh, the Jungle Run, Raymond Jungle Run, and that's it. Let's say, if, let's say I want to sync all that. I just press sync. And now it says Expedia successfully sync, Google Play Store successfully sync. Like you can see here, they're, they're being synced one by one. Uh, it's very easy, very easy to use. Um, but I noticed that in the Mac, MacBook, I don't, in Mac, I don't think it's working, but it should work on PC. And, but it's, it's, for me, it's a very cool feature. Nice way to have fun here. Uh, why would you do this? I don't know, cause you can. And also your posts, if you like posts. This is a very nice way to search for news as well, using posts and Flipboard, which is awesome. Like you see there. And to uninstall apps, uh, you can go crazy installing apps if you don't want if you want to uninstall some of them, all you got to do is go to settings and go here to manage applications. And from here, I could go ahead and like go ahead and delete an app. It will automatically start deleting the app. And here, I could go ahead and delete this app as well. Da -da -da. Press continue to delete. And right now, it's being it's deleted. And I click done. Uh, there's a lot of features here. You could put sound. Every time you click the pages, um, here you could uh, manage your contact, you manage accounts. Uh, you could change your language over here, and keyboard settings. And like you see right there, the both apps that I deleted, Pitfall and Surf um, Runner, something like that, totally deleted. And not bad, guys. Um, so I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you guys think about it. This is a very cool way to have fun on your on your computer, which is awesome. And there's a couple feet. There's a couple of apps here that are actually going to be useful. Like for example, the Google Play Play Music, which is going to be way better using it here than on the website. It's going to be way better here. Flipboard is awesome here. Um, and a lot of other. Um, apps. Uh, most of the apps that are going to work best on this app is the apps that are optimized for tablets. Those are the best options. So that's my recommendation. Um, I hope you guys like the video, guys. Till next time.